Good morning. Today is the day. I'm just about to get ready. So this isn't gonna do. Let's do this thing. Okay, that's a bit better. Job almost done. Okay, so I haven't really vlogged today because it's been a little bit of a weird overcast day and school was like super stressful. But now I am here in line at the Fonda for Hoodie Allen! Woo! I'm so excited, you guys. It's gonna be great. Hopefully I can get all the footage possible. And I made some friends in line. Here they are! <laughs> I did warn them. Okay, so I'll catch you in there. I just got my laminate. It's almost time to go inside. I'm so excited. <laughs> There he is! There he is! Cute! Okay, so now seems like a, as good a time as ever to vlog. Um, so I just met Hoodie. I'm going to insert the photos from our meeting. He was so nice. It was so much fun. He was so sweet. Um, yeah, super exciting. I'm still like, like shook from the whole experience. Yeah. 
your cell phones in the sky. Let's sing along and make this a fucking beautiful moment, man. Now, two days after the Hoodie Allen concert, I apologize for it being so late. However, my camera battery died mid-concert, so I wasn't able to film the complete show, which is kind of a good thing because it was nice to live in the moment. Even though I love um, documenting everything, it's fun, it's creative, it's part of the whole process. I also do enjoy getting off the grid sometimes um, because you can be more spontaneous and spontaneity is something that I really believe in. So I apologize for that, but I did get a few choice videos in that I will put into this video. So hopefully you can enjoy that and get a little bit of a taste for what the show is like. I got home at midnight and I had to get up at 4 a.m. to get ready 
to commute to school and be ready for an 8.30 class. So that was another reason why I haven't been able to film today because when I got home from school, I legitimately did not even eat. I took my makeup off, fell asleep, and did not wake up until today at about 10 a.m. So now that I have time to film, I'm here. So right now I am wearing the shirt I got at the concert. It's so sweet. I've literally been wearing it for the last two days and I'm probably going to wear it for the next few days. TBH though. So here it is. It is a white long sleeve. You've got the hoodie logo. You've got some more hoodie action right here. I love it. And then on the back of the shirt are the tour dates. Um, and the tour is still on full swing. So if anyone wants to go see Hoodie, I would highly, highly recommend it. It was a great show. I laughed, I danced, I screamed, somebody twirled me. It was a wonderful experience and I had a lot of fun. So, Hmm. So yeah, I apologize for not filming. No excuses, but it literally was sort of a whirlwind, but I'm here now. And I will talk briefly about what meeting Hoodie was like. I bought VIP tickets, so I knew for some time that I would meet him. Um, but you never know what's going to happen with like VIP meetings and stuff. Sometimes they get canceled or postponed. I had tickets to see Logic and Joey Badass in Toronto this past summer and I wasn't able to go because they postponed it and by the time that the concert was going to be on again, I was already back in LA. So you never know what's going to happen with concerts and stuff. So I wasn't trying to get too amped on meeting him, but like the day before I like started getting jitters because I was so so excited <laughs> anyways it was pretty surreal meeting him because I've been listening to his music for some time now it's always been there literally every playlist I have it has at least one hoodie track on it at least one and so meeting him was full circle for me because all the years of listening to him he's not just this the sound the music that I press play on, he's a person. And you have those memories attached to songs and then all of a sudden they're, what's the word I'm looking for? Then all of a sudden they are standing in front of you and, and it's not a memory, it's a person. That person created the music, the soundtrack to your life. And so yeah, meeting him was wonderful. He was very sweet, very nice. Um, and I wanted to get him to film something for the vlog, but I thought just because they were very specific that we were only getting photos, I didn't want to be disrespectful and I also didn't want to be that one person who was in the line that got a video where other people didn't. So again, I just wanted to be respectful. However, I did get my photos and my Polaroid, I am in love with it. It literally is like my most prized possession right now. He was wonderful. He was very considerate. He gave the most time he could to every single person. He gave so much time that the question and A, the Q and A, the question and answer portion of the VIP meeting experience was canceled because they had to let the general admission into the venue. So he wasn't able to do the Q and A because he gave so much time to everyone and I really appreciated that. I've met some other musicians and artists before who weren't so giving with their time. I won't name names, but there was one person who refused to autograph anything for anyone. And I just think that's not right. I feel like if you have people who are supporting your career and essentially funding it and are enamored with your art, you might want to give a little bit of time to them. Just like, just like a wee bit, you feel? Um, but overall, the concert was incredible because I knew like almost all of the songs. And yeah, like I said, the whole experience, it really just like had me amped. It's got me motivated um, for everything that's going on for me. And it was just nice to escape for a little bit too. I had a really weird day that Monday at school. It was a off day. It's just one of those days like everyone is just like, this is not happening. It was a case of the Mondays. And so, being able to just go and go to the concert and be in the moment was the refresh that I needed. And I think I feel, I feel like I knew I needed it. Um, this being like the first month of school, 
uh, being in college, it, it was very, it was very, very welcome. Um, yeah, so that's why I didn't film right away. And that was what my meeting with Hoodie was like. He is a stand-up guy and the concert was everything I hoped it would be. There were money guns, there were con there was confetti, and he jumped, Hoodie jumped into the crowd. He was on an inflatable floaty, just like chilling and rapping and singing. And um, I would highly recommend uh, going to the Hype Tour. There's still a lot of dates. He's who haven't even heard his music, I've only heard a few tracks. It's such a party that like, it's very easy to get into. Um, yeah, and so let's see, my favorite hoodie tracks, 100% of something, movie, um, let's see, oh, there's so many. Won't Mind, no, Ain't Ready, Sushi, Small Town, literally anything from Crew Cuts as well. There are so many. So he is an incredible artist. I love that he's independent and I had a wonderful experience. So I'm going to end the vlog on that note. I'm having a lazy day today, if you can't tell. It's a steady kind of low key day. Uh, outfit of the day, quickly, quickly, quickly. There's Alpha, you guys. That's that's what I got going on today. Nothing, nothing too elaborate, nothing too uh, glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for any vlogs, any comments, feel free to comment. Hit a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it. Um, like I said, I really feel like vlogs and just putting myself out there is something I should be doing right now. I have wanted to do this for a very long time. I've just been so shy. I've just been so... I've been so shy, I've been so guarded, I've been so nervous about it, but I feel like there have been some events that have unfolded specifically over the summer. If you know me, you know what those are that have just kind of led me to being in front of the camera. And as the hoodie line goes, put my old life behind me, jumped in front of the camera, right? So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.